Hey guys, it's Alexandra. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I'm going to be doing a part two on how I created my eyeshadow palette right here. This is the Ethereal palette from my brand Ethereal Makeup, and I will have the video linked down below so you guys can see how I made this one. I got a lot of questions asking how to make your own eyeshadow palette. Now, in the title of this video, I said how I made mine, so there was like a lot of people confused in the comments, but that video was literally just so I can show you guys the timeline of this palette coming to life and because it's very special to me but i do understand that some of you guys want to make your own so i will be showing you guys in this video i wrote everything down right here um and i'll try to have um maybe a screen recording of some of the sites i'm going to be talking about um and i also just wanted you guys to know that it is not like proper business etiquette to ask someone who their vendor is, who their lab is. Um, if somebody doesn't want to share that information with you, then you cannot be mad at that because ultimately you would not go DMing ColourPop asking where their lab is or Anastasia Beverly Hills. So although I am a small business and I do like helping you guys, I am not entitled to tell you guys everything especially when it's personal to my business um it took me a year to find someone to make this palette um this custom palette it is completely custom down to the shades but yeah so i'm just not going to give up a year's worth of information especially if i can find it you guys can find it so it's really up to you if this is something you genuinely want to do um so yeah i will not be sharing my lab in this video um but i will be showing you guys easy ways to make your own palette so we're just gonna get right on into it also you guys can watch my next video if you want to learn how i did this makeup look so like I said, I wrote everything down here in some simple steps. So the first thing I would like you guys to know is private labeling is the easiest way. Now typically what private labeling, private labeling is, is you find like a vendor. Um, most of the times it will be from China. Um, I touch base, like I touch on that topic a little bit later on in the video. But you can find a private lab or wholesalers that do sell makeup in wholesale and private labeling means that 9 times out of 10 the product is already made but they will put your logo on it and it is just custom to your brand. So one of the greatest sites you can find um, vendors on that's more secure. I've never personally, I've never used AliExpress. Um, I don't really like that site. There's probably more scams and stuff that go on on that site. But anyways, um, I would recommend the site Alibaba. Alibaba, I don't know how you guys pronounce it. Um, but I did have two palettes before I found this one that were private labeled, which means like the palettes were already made, or you can like um arrange your own shadows in the palette, but you don't really have a say on like the formula and stuff. You will be able to just put your logo on it. Someone also asked in the other video who was my vendor for this one. So as you can see, I wrote sample one because this is actually the second sample of my ethereal palette that was supposed to launch um so when you buy this palette this is the sample like i said it comes without any logo on it so this is an example of a private label palette but i had the choice to customize the colors in this palette so i will be leaving the vendor that i got this palette from down below because i actually do like the eyeshadow quality it's just i personally still wasn't happy because i just wanted my custom palette but this is very, very pretty, um, and yeah, I will be linking this vendor down below, but this is an example of the easiest way you can make one. Even if you want to give it as a gift to someone, you can just go on that site. Now, I paid $35 in total for this palette. Um, they sent me the sample, and I just paid for shipping because, like I said, it comes from China. So yeah, that's just the price point. Um, but typically an eyeshadow palette private label can range from, I don't know the cheapest, what the cheapest would be, but I've seen them go up to $7 per palette. But when you sell it, you just up the price. So let's say I paid, I don't know, $5 for this palette and then I charge it for $15, then I will be making $10 profit. Um, so yeah, that's just a little bit about how private labeling works. I said you have your pre-made palettes, which I will insert a picture here of an example, which means that when you buy it, you have no choice in what colors go inside. You literally just buy the palette, and um, if you spend a certain amount of money or buy a certain amount of palettes, let's say their minimum order quantity is, if you want your logo on the palette, you have to order 50 palettes. 
Um, so yeah, you just put your logo on the palette and then boom, it can be your palette. Say whatever you want it to say. Um, you can also have the option to add shade names for the palette, um, but typically you have to order more. So the more you order, the cheaper it becomes. Um, and the more you get, which means like you have the opportunity to either customize the color, customize the colors of the eyeshadows, or customize your logo. But you can also always order stuff like this and then get label stickers just to put on your palette because that's like a cheaper way if you want to start off small and not order a large quantity. But one mistake you do not want to make is not ordering a sample first. Always order a sample that way you can do a quality check on the eyeshadow. And do not be scared of manufacturers in China, Wet n Wild, Kylie Cosmetics, Morphe. They do have suppliers in China. So sometimes even when you look on the sites, you will see dupes for their types of palettes. The thing I touched over a little bit is that customized logo logos and packaging costs more. Um, some private labeling manufacturers includes the logo and price, which means like you add your logo to it. Others charge a printing fee, so maybe you're paying $3.00 per palette and then they charge you a $50 printing fee. That $50 means that on all the palettes you order, you will have your logo printed on, but sometimes it's already calculated in the price per palette. So just definitely talk to your vendor about that before you order. Make sure to read reviews if there is any reviews. Um, sometimes they will tell you directly what lab it is, so you can just Google that specific lab, make sure they're treating their workers fairly, things like that. Um, if you don't care about that then you don't have to but it's just always good even though you're getting it from a trusted site you want to make sure that the lab is trustworthy like i said i've never used aliexpress you can do that on your own terms i personally would never order anything off of aliexpress i heard shipping takes super duper long people get scammed so i just wouldn't do that now you can do your research um i think it's cosmetics uh cosmetics index something like that there are sites that if you type up labs in the united states makeup labs in the u.s you will be able to find them most of the time they are still private label unless you have a large amount of money and you can go to trade shows um things like that and personally see labs i know with coronavirus that isn't really possible right now um, but if you want a lab in the United States, I definitely recommend going on Google. I've done research on a ton of labs in the United States. It's just, I didn't find anything particularly, um, that was within my budget that I can make my, you know, cloud shape palette. But if you want to find, um, good trustworthy labs, I definitely recommend going to trade shows, um, that have different manufacturers there that show you their products. I will try to insert examples or pictures of what those might look like. Um, but for now, Google is your best friend because, you know, the world has moved online. Definitely check that out if you want a lab in the United States. But if, you know, you're like me, you're starting off your makeup land, um, brand and you don't have a lot of money, um, definitely China manufacturers are the way to go and there is no problem with that. I put here also at the trade shows, sometimes you will run into Chinese labs. The chi like China makes most of our products that we have here in the United States. Um, and they are very big in the makeup industry. Most of our makeup products are made in China. Um, what a lot of brands do um, is they make it in China, but then they be like assembled in the United States. So sometimes that's how they trick you into thinking that you're only buying something from the US. But some labs make their products here and then have some mass produced over there. So yeah, again, labs in China are not a bad thing. I guarantee half of your makeup has been made in China. The trade shows do give a more personal experience as well. So hopefully when COVID is done, I want to go to one I've never been. Now, here is the thing. With custom packaging, it is possible to find. So I will be leaving my vendor down below for my eyelash boxes. I will be giving you his number that you can contact him through WhatsApp. I actually designed the box myself. Um, I don't really know if I can do a video on that just because it was kind of hard for me. Um, I just had to figure out what size the eyelash box was and I just used different apps to kind of design it graphically. Now I am taking a Photoshop class, so new packaging on the way. 
but I will be leaving you guys the vendor if you want to make cool pop-out designs like this. I don't know if you can see that. If you need eyelash boxes, he only does eyelash boxes. So if you're trying to start a lash business, um, I will let you guys know. As far as the palettes, what I would recommend is, again, typing around. Um, if you do want to find one on Google, that will take more work. But it is worth it. Um... And if you are looking on Alibaba, just type custom box packaging, custom palette packaging. I actually literally, I was just going through tons and tons and tons and tons of labs and I bumped into mine on random. But this is a fresh palette right here. And as you can see, these are the shades. It is extremely beautiful, so waiting the year was worth it. Typically, when you go on Alibaba, let's say you click a product, right? And you scroll down and it shows like others you may like or others in this lab. I literally found my lab in the others section. So really just type custom packaging, custom makeup packaging and just keep scrolling. I promise you are bound to find one. I built a good relationship with my lab owner and a few of the workers. So they would actually send me videos and pictures when everything was in production and about to ship. So make sure you build that good relationship um, because you never know they can give you discounts. So they will give you updates um, you know it just makes you feel a little bit more in control definitely talking to your vendors making sure you know always ask those questions the last thing you want is to spend a lot of money and something comes and it's not what you thought it was going to be at all so again it makes sure you have samples and yeah that is how I made my eyeshadow palette is a little bit of insight on how you guys can make your own palette if you found any of this information helpful please let me know down below and help me by subscribing and if you can purchasing my palette it is available for $20 and you can use code YouTube for money off of your order I promise my palette is amazing it does cost more to make a custom palette so if you just have like a really small budget to work with there's nothing wrong with that I definitely recommend private labeling but if you want to go the extra mile and start creating and upgrading your products to more customized stuff the amount of money you spend extra is worth it because you know that that is for your brands and your brands only. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!